so you want to begin with three different colors of ice cream. I'm using pink, mint green, and white. And I'm using a needle tool to texture the ice cream. If you don't have a needle, you can use a toothpick. Here, I'm still texturing the polymer clay. If you want, you can make your own bowl out of polymer clay, or you can buy a wooden bowl. I found these at Hobby Lobby in the wooden section. And then I just painted the bowl white with acrylic paint. So you want to bake it in the bowl for about 5 minutes or until it's hard at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm using Sculpey Bacon Bond, which is an adhesive um, that is clay based or polymer clay based. And I'm just going to mix that with brown oil paint or dark brown oil paint and this is going to make the chocolate sauce. You want to make sure you mix it evenly so that the color will be uniform. And now I'm just going to take the chocolate sauce and add it to the sundae. And you want it to look like it's drizzled down the side, so I'm just going to pull some of it to the edges like that. When you're finished adding the chocolate sauce, you want to bake it again until it's hard. The whipped cream is just a mixture of white clay and TLS, and I'm just adding that to the top in a swirling motion. Here I'm just adding sprinkles and a cherry to top it off and you just want to cut your favorite color sprinkles, it doesn't matter which color, and then add them to the top and you also want to use a small um, ball of red clay and that's going to be the cherry. And as you can see I'm using my needle tool to give the cherry texture and to add it to the top. So to glue the ring to the actual sundae, I'm going to use E6000, which is an industrial strength adhesive. 